Alrighty, hi there and welcome back to the Virtual Recreation Center. Today I am going to teach you how to make the pine cone spider craft. And for this craft, you will need a pine cone, scissors, four pipe cleaners, six to eight googly eyes, some scissors, a low temperature glue, hot glue gun, and a trusted adult. So first what you're gonna wanna do is go outside. <laughs> go outside, go on a walk with your trusted adult. Maybe it's your auntie, your sister, your cousin, whoever's an adult in your life that you want to go on a walk with and can find pine cones with. And maybe you want to go outside to your backyard, out around the neighborhood, to a park, on a trail. Anywhere pine trees would be is where you would find pine cones right now. Um, I found this pine cone here in South Hill Park, and it's pretty perfect for what I need. It's quite round, it's got a really good shape, my pipe cleaners can twist into this nicely, and the eyes will sit pretty nicely, I think. So once you find a pine cone, bring it back to your crafting area. Then what you're going to do is wrap the four full length, full, full length pie cleaners around the pie cone to make eight total legs. So I'm going to do one wrap and one wrap. Ooh. And I wrapped mine in a kind of funny way, so I'm going to retry. There we go. Give it a nice wrap this way and a nice wrap this way. And those are two of its first legs. And I'm going to repeat this process three more times so that our spider can have eight legs because all spiders have eight legs. And if you're interested in learning more about spiders, you should check out our environmental education packet. It's got a little tidbit on spiders and some different things that you may not have known about them and some fun spidery activities. Alrighty, that's two legs. We're, we're making good progress. You could also um, look up spider pictures as you are making this to kind of get an inspiration and a sense of what your spider should look like. If you're anything like me, you love it when things look just about the same as they do in real life. If you're not, you can make it as cartoony as you'd like to or as however really you'd like to. It's your craft and just feel very free to explore and do whatever you'd like with it. But we're trying to make a spider, so try to make a spider. <laughs> Alrighty, here's the last of the four long legs. I'm pretty much just wrapping it all around here. Now, the reason you need a trusted adult is also not only because you're gonna go on a walk, but also because you're going to use a hot glue gun. A hot glue gun. And just from moving my hands like this, I can feel the heat on that. So make sure that if you use a hot glue gun, you also have an adult with you. <clears throat> you can also use tacky glue or glue dots. Either way works. So now my spider has all eight legs. He's kind of top heavy. His legs are also not all even, so that's where the scissors come in. I would like to make all of my spider legs nice and even, so let's do that. Let's do that. And this one is my shortest one, so I'm going to try to make them all match that length. And if you need help cutting through a pipe cleaner, always ask an adult that is around, nearby, or that you trust. Alrighty, and then you can bend the spider legs to give him a little bit more balance. I like to tuck it in like this and then take just a little piece and fold in again so it's got something to balance on. This kind of looks like a hook. You can see that. And then I'm gonna do that again right here. One more time right here. Beautiful. Alright, now I have to do the same thing on this other side. So I'm gonna take my pipe cleaners, I'm gonna even them out. Whoa, this one's way longer than the rest of them. So again, I'm gonna find that smallest bit. I think it's this one again. And I'm just gonna cut to make it all match. If you need help, just ask for help. Tuck it. Hold and then do a tuck. It's kind of easy just to twist it right around your thumb. You can see, I'm taking it, I'm pinching it, and I'm twisting it, and I'm tucking this little piece even further beyond my thumb. Do it one more time. I'm gonna take it, pinch it, twist that bottom part, twist this top part, and that's a good spider leg. Alrighty, so the spider's legs have been created. That's step two. We're gonna move on to step three now, which is attaching your googly eyes. And this is the part where you really do need a trusted adult to help. Um, any adult that you trust that you have around can help you with this. If you are not using a hot glue gun, then you can either do this with your adult or by yourself. Um, tacky glue and glue dots are going to be the best way to do this without a hot glue gun. That's my spider thus far. Ooh. 
Alrighty, and I want to look up different ways that spider eyes work. So I think I'm going to arrange mine based on this picture I have here, and my eyes are going to look something like that. And I like to plan things out like that to make sure I know what's going to go on. So now I'm going to take my very hot hot glue gun, and because I'm an adult, I'm going to do this by myself. But if you are not an adult, please do this with someone who is. So I'm going to take it, make a dollop of hot glue, be very careful not to touch the hot glue. Let it fall into the hot glue mat. Oh, and I touched it now, ow, 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 ow. Be very, very careful. It is no fun to get hot glued. And you're just going to place the hot glue right on to that pine cone. And that's your first spidery eye. Your next spidery eye is going to go right next to it. Alright, I'm going to let that cool for just a second burn myself again and I'm gonna attach that other eye right there and then I'm gonna make these eyes because I've decided this spider has six eyes so some spiders have no eyes some spiders have six eyes and some only have or some have eight eyes so you can have eight eyes so you can have as many eyes as you'd like on your spider six eight or none um, or you can get real creative and say your spider has three eyes you might have found a different type of spider than one that exists. <laughs> and that's okay. Be as creative as you want to be. It's just a Halloween craft. Take all of these, make a quick little dot on them. And I'm actually going to use my scissors to help me separate the hot glue gun from the eyes. Hopefully that doesn't hot glue the eyes to the scissors. Alrighty. spider will have six eyes like most common spiders. So, and actually I think the fourth one will look better over here, so that's where I'm going to put it. Alright, now my spidey senses are tingling and we have a full-blown spider pinecone craft. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.